All right, people, so this is where the magic happens. If you're going to live in your van, you got to have one of these. Yo, welcome to the shop, people. This is a quick video. It's probably just going to suck because I'm just walking around aimlessly trying to give you guys this tour of the shop. But I just want to say thank you guys so much we've gotten to this point. I got a brand new bike built within a day, people. I went ahead and built this bike just for the simple fact that we took some time to organize this whole shop. And I'm happy to say that it's exactly where I wanted to be at this moment for being probably like two weeks in and since moving in and uh, building it up. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my entire shop setup as far as how I've been building my bikes and uh, running my YouTube operations since setting this place up about two weeks ago. But I also want to give a big shout out to a company, Bolted On. Um, they're the only sponsor for my 2020 Transit build that I haven't showed you guys just yet. But um, this is my van that I've lived in for the past couple months now with everything going on. And um, I travel across the country in it. And uh, Bolted On is an amazing company, um, family owned and operated out in California. And they went ahead and sent me um, an amazing motorcycle wheel chalk system for my van. I just want to mention them now early in the video since they deserve all the recognition. I was supposed to make a video about their product a while ago and it's just been absolutely crazy. Being a riding channel, it's kind of hard to uh, stop everything and start doing a van uh, video. But without much further ado, people, I'm going to show you guys a quick little shop tour. But most importantly, show you guys the uh, van that's been doing absolutely everything for me. And that's my 2020 Ford Transit EcoBoost. Let's get to it. Welcome to the shop. Starting off the crappy side here, this is basically the storage of stuff that I want to kind of organize better, but each one of these bins represents a bike model. I got my 0304, I got a Grom, and then I got miscellaneous parts right here, and I think that's uh, another bike model. So each bin has parts for each specific bike that I mainly work on, which is Groms and Ninjas, and then I have some FRI parts laying around. Um, but a lot of this stuff is like traveling stuff. That's stuff to work on the van as far as electrical stuff that we'll get into. All this stuff I use to build my battery setup in the van. <laughs> I don't even have to go into detail what this stuff is. Yeah, we got the camera bag in case we were going out. Portable table, portable chair. This whole rack system is actually portable too. It's an origami rack setup, so it works out really well. Up top, I went ahead and uh, visited my boy Jake Springwater up in Oklahoma. I got a second set of uh, fairings that are OEM for the 21. That way if anything happens to her, we got a backup set, we can keep it rolling. We got Betty White. She had some orange fairings on her last time you guys seen her, but that was just for uh, test fitting. So this is a Dix Customs fairing stay. It's for 0304 gauge cluster, but it fits an 0304 and allows you to put 21 fairings on. So you guys seen I had the orange fairings on it, but that was just temporary. Um, those actually went on this bike because I love these fairings so much and they're actually gonna get used So this bike super straightforward I didn't really want to make a big deal out of it and make a big build series It only took me a day to put it together, but um, this is a project I've been putting um, On the back burner for a while since I had everything going on beautiful purple frame underneath all these plastics Huge shout out to my sponsor RSC for this amazing sub cage I run this on all my bikes and they're absolutely amazing. I got the flash ECU uh, clean air mod kit done on this thing a little bit of frame sliders that I found uh, and The spare wheels are actually from My 21 stunt build I actually just went ahead and got new wheels for that bike So there's no more bent wheels on her and I also got new cages So once I put these new cages on the 21 I'll put the old cages on this bike once I powder coat them purple. So 
so it's just uh, chiseling things out little by little. Yes, to explain, this, all this pile is is stuff that I load in the van to go on road trips and also just random stuff that I need to organize better down the road. We got both the bikes. They kind of take up all the space in this tiny little spot, uh, hence why I need more space. All the Patreon merch, if you guys are on the Patreon team and you didn't get any merch and you're in one of the higher tiers, let me know. I got all those shirts for you guys. I got posters, I got more shirts, 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 some hats laying around. I really got to step up my merch and get back in stock, but uh, I've been working on so much stuff. Up here, huge shout out to Monster Fairings once again. These fairings are the secret fairings that are going on Betty White. So that's next on the chopping block once I get her on the uh, lift. But uh, all this stuff is just miscellaneous stuff from uh, Rurock and all my other sponsors here and there. Just stuff that doesn't really have a spot. YouTube plaque and everything else. I put this TV here. I don't have internet yet, so it's kind of uh, useless, but it looks good and it kind of cleans up the shop for right now. It makes it look a little more comfy when people are just hanging out. More spare part bins right here. This rack is probably the most important rack to me right now. This is where all the projects are going to be at. Uh, whenever I get a bike on the lift, uh, maybe just even the engine in the frame, all the parts are on this rack. That way I can just turn around, grab them, and start tossing it on like assembly line. And you really don't know how well this shop setup is going to work for you until you actually start doing projects. But building this bike so fast and fixing up the Grom as fast as I did and all these other things I've been working on, I'm really just so happy with how this whole place turned out so far. And this awesome, awesome fridge that I got for like 100 bucks. It's a Magic Chef fridge. It's got uh, some goods in there. A little separate freezer, separate fridge. I got this Arazi chair when I was out in Kentucky just recently. I seen these puppies for sale for a hundred bucks and I've never had a computer gaming chair, whatever you want to call it. But um, with my workflow sitting at this desk with the laptop and everything else, it's absolutely amazing to have all this. We got the uh, YouTube plaque right here for inspiration. An amazing drawing that my friend Amaya hooked me up with. And then a couple other goodies here. Um, showing love to my boy Justin and uh, everything else. Big shout out to Rock, another huge supporter of everything that we got going on. Um, right here, we just got all of our shipping stuff, some more inspiration on the walls. Kyle Sliger gave me this poster back when I was not even catching balance point. And uh, I found that just recently and wanted to hang it up. And then another big inspiration is my man, Tony Carvajal. He went ahead and hooked me up with this poster back when I went to Cali for the first time. And uh, it's just a really cool thing to look at. And uh, I stay in contact with both these guys. So another big thing I'm really excited about is this uh, toolbox. I only paid like 200 bucks for it, but it works out great paid like 30 bucks for this rack from Harbor Freight and it holds up a ton of care package stuff as well as miscellaneous bolts and everything else that I would need working. Found this really nice futon for about 80 bucks online. Went ahead and loaded it up. It was not a pretty sight. Super snazzy. It's got some cup holders here. Very nice. I sit on this all day and edit. No problems at all. I got this rack I've been using to put all my riding gear since I'm just hopping on the bike from the shop and heading straight out. Uh, this place is just an amazing little bat cave. Right here is the ground I was talking about. Uh, it was pretty beat up when I got it. Went ahead and did a ton of work on it. The funny thing about this lift, this is an actual hydraulic lift with an air compressor. I don't have an air compressor yet, but this is too good of a deal. I think it was 200 bucks or 150 bucks when I went ahead and bought this thing while I was out of town because this thing was for sale in Tampa for $150 while this one was for sale in Minnesota where I was driving at the time. So yes, we drove about a day's time to go ahead and get this motorcycle lift. Um, but being as though these are about $600 to $1,000 for one of these puppies, he offered it to me for $200. And when I showed up, hung out with them for a little while, did a little stunt show for him and his family, he was nice enough to give me this lift for free. So this alone is like one of the key components of this entire shop, people. And the fact that we were able to get it for free saved me so much time and money. Thank you so much for this lift, man. And already it's just done so much for the shop. And uh, the only downside with it is it is a pump one instead of a hydraulic one. With my type of work, I got a bike on this lift and it stays on there for a while. So there's really no complaints with having to pump this up every now and then to get the bikes off. So yeah, people, this is the workspace and it's, uh, it's been working absolutely amazing. Um, this couch is really comfy and it complements really well with this AC unit that blows straight onto the couch. So people are just hanging out. They can watch, watch me work. I got a little Bluetooth speaker. so. It's just a nice little chill vibe, nothing fancy, um, but on camera, I think it looks pretty decent when we get some good angles and uh, the firework video, for example, is just a really good uh, experimental shop video and I think it's coming out super nice so far. But that's a shop and here's my house. Here she is. <laughs> Not much to look at in here, but uh, this is a lot of work that has came together. 
Like I said, this is not really a fancy video, people, but just giving you the basic idea as far as uh, how we're living up in here. So this might not look like a lot with this van, but these walls are actually insulated. I've got insulation at the top and bottom, and then these are actually OEM panels that just require push bins to push it all in. Um, you guys are probably wondering how I was able to hang the insulation in without any kind of tape. And we got really creative as far as hanging up the insulation. All right, people, so this is where the magic happens. If you're gonna live in your van, you gotta have one of these. This is my off the grid setup. And uh, basically what an off the grid means is you have this big old 200 amp hour energy battery and it powers all these electrical components. This is my solar slash DC charger, meaning that I have one setup here to charge from solar panels. Then I have another setup down here to charge from the alternator itself. This van is custom built, so it has two high output dual batteries as well as two high output alternators. And that's the ambulance package when you go ahead and build your Ford Transit. This is a NOCO Genius Gen 10, which means this is 10 amps of charging. So if I'm at someone's house, I can just go ahead and pull this cord out and plug it right in their house and charge my battery right back up. But since this thing pumps out two alternators worth of power and two batteries, literally when I travel as much as I do, all I have to use is this Renergy Rover to charge up this entire battery setup. So once that's all set up, all I gotta do is flip this switch, the inverter comes on, and then I can just go ahead and run this plug outside and have all the power that I need. So I can run power tools, fridges, fans, whatever I want off this. But just for the video's sake, I went ahead and emptied this entire van. That way I could show you guys the entire guts of it and how quick I assemble my living setup. So that's how it comes so far. Got this really cool nappy head um, partition wall slash door. So this is really nice if I'm trying to keep the front nice and cool with the AC. But it's also nice just for um, privacy if I'm back here sleeping and stuff like that at night. So there's really no way that I can sleep in here slash store the bikes. There's no wheel chocks, there's no bed, there's no nothing. Um, but I'll go ahead and set up the tripod real quick to show you guys how quick it is to set this up into a living setup. So we got the bed set up, super comfy. I like it, six inch memory foam from Amazon. It's actually three pieces, but I lost the one piece. So that's what we got. Uh, this is nice because it's a lid. You can flip open, the light turned off. Um, but I put all my tools and everything else under here. Super nice storage. And then like I said, if I ever need to get to like the power or something, just pop this. Bada bing, bada boom. I do want to give a slight shout out to Moser Makes. I don't even know who that guy is, but he had like a whole diagram on how to make this electrical setup. I made my own diagram, didn't follow his completely, but um, as, as wacky as I am with electrical and stuff like that, he helped me do this first try without any issues. And your boy's got fans and fridges and whatever else, whatever else he wants in this thing. I'm genuinely stoked to show this product to you guys because I use it so much. And uh, it's a pricey little product, but he gave it to me for free. Didn't pay me to make this video, so you guys know it's like a genuine review on it since it's all scratched up and been used. Thing's awesome. We're gonna put it in and show you how simple it is. This, this thing weighs like 40 pounds or so. You got these little things. These are your, your triangles of like support. And you just put the other one here. And then boom, your wheel chock's already sitting in here. I'd show you guys me putting it together, but it's super simple. All you do is just screw in all the pieces, pop this in, like it took me no time at all. You could build this in like five minutes. Last but not least, these hooks are what screw into your D-rings and uh, will hold the entire mounting system up. Just hook it into your D-ring. Boom, throw your washer on. I lost one on the other side. And you just screw it in, boom. So 
now I got the wheel chalk set up. This thing is super nice because depending on how wide the bars are for stump bikes or stock bikes, you can slide this around. You can just put your main bike if you only got one or you're like, oh, I gotta put two in. Like, oh, the bars aren't, aren't uh, that wide, so you can just slide. This thing's just tits, man, it's amazing. And you don't have to put holes in your van. Like, there's literally nothing bad I can say about this product. And hopefully I just keep getting more and more for all the other vans I get in the future. Buy a bolted on kit, quit your own holes. All these holes right here. I went ahead and found a laptop stand that works absolutely amazing. I can sleep and watch videos. And uh, right up here, as an added bonus, I put in a sound bar. And I got some wiring that runs back up here. And it's for all my power if I wanted to run some power up here. But I have the plugs down there as well for convenience. So we got all the power we need. We got a little helmet rack, insulation. These little pads are soundproof. So this thing is super quiet. It's a 2020, so it's already quiet as is, but the thing is really comfy. And uh, it's not a struggle living in this thing whenever I'm on the road. I actually look forward to uh, crashing at rest stops. I like loves and just random rest stops that I wake up at. Just wake up in the morning. Oh shit, cops. I'm gonna sleep a little bit longer. When I wake up, I'm like, all right, it's not sketchy anymore. So I'll just crawl right through here. And then boom, people, we're ready to hit the road. Super nice. Oh yeah, by the way, FZ07 on Patreon, we're about to build this thing. I've been lagging on it very badly, but this thing is about to get tore down, powder coated, and built into a stunt beast. If you guys want a part of this, Patreon, hop in there. Only real gangsters don't strap their ramp down. Not a bad view to wake up to. So that's my transit build, people. I didn't do anything much up front. Really just the insulation, the wheel chalk system, shout out to Bolt It On. USA and also just the bed setup. Um, huge shout out to my boy Rookie Rebel for helping me build that battery box in the storage area. Um, everything else I just pretty much did on my own. Uh, learned all the electrical Moser makes with that. Um, but yeah, that's that. And then also the shop people. I'll give you guys a better tour later on down the road once things are a little bit more organized. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment and uh, see you guys next video. Peace.